Medina yesterday uh, and a great night with thunderstorms that didn't uh, leave us wet but had a, quite a light show in the sky. Uh, this morning we're setting off from Medina heading east uh, with our usual uh, speed of about five uh, miles an hour. Uh, we're coming up on the Knowles Lift Bridge. There are 15 bridges, uh, lift bridges between on the Erie Canal. Um, and uh, this is something to um, to have a list of lift uh, lift bridge operators usually have a list of, of the bridges with cell phone numbers of the operators um, and the identification numbers that we have a handheld radio uh, you can talk to the bridge master and uh, ask them to uh, to lift the bridge so the handheld radio is uh, essential on this part of the canal um, so it's a was a good investment for us because it allows you to uh, get in touch with the operators very quickly but also allows you to uh, get in touch with um, other boats in the area uh, in case they're in distress or need help and the operators of the bridges and the locks can not only talk you through the, the locks and the bridges but also coordinate uh, if there are more than one boat coming through um, which side they want you on board or server. So that's uh, a good purchase. Um, well, so we're going to be coming up on the Knowles Lift Bridge rather soon. We're hoping to um, show you how it works. Bridge 203 <clears throat> and we're waiting for the operator so most of the bridges have uh, an operator um, lift operator on site but some of them are taken care of by um, one operator that you know who oversees 203 bridges so that's the situation here so the uh, the person who oversees this this bridge I think is in further down the canal in Albion right now but uh, we called and they're coming over here to um, to lift this bridge for us and we're just waiting tied up to the wall um, we we had to call them on the cell phone because the operator is out, uh, outside the range of the radio so it's a good idea to have a sheet of um, you know it's, it usually contains the map of the bridges with cell phones for the operators and also the um, radio identifying information so if, um, if the operator is is not within the radio range um, you still can reach them on the cell phone. So every operator would have a list like that. So um, yeah, they can they can help out with that. So we're docked for the night at um, uh, Albion. It's a great town to stop for the night. Uh, the docking here is between two drawbridges. The operator lifts up, um, they're both um, taken care of by the same person. So they lift up the first bridge. You can go, go through, uh, tie up on the wall uh, in between the two bridges, either on the south or the north side. Both walls um, are, are really good with uh, lots of room, cleats, and. Uh, uh, power um, powers available and so is water for hookups and there are picnic tables and grill um, grill stations along the shore 
the bridge operator also would give you the codes for the facilities. So they're not public uh, restrooms and showers. You need a code to get in. It's just for the boaters. Um, and they're just a couple of um, yards behind. So the, the waterfront doesn't really uh, show how beautiful Albion is because these are the back um, the backs of the of the buildings. But once you travel for just a minute into the downtown area, um, you really you really see it's a, it's a grand place. It's a county seat, and um, uh, right off of the canal, that's the um, business business center and political center of Albion. Uh, not too many businesses there, but um, the courthouse is is really magnificent. It's in Neo-Greek revival style, uh, phenomenal building. Uh, there are a lot of churches. Most of them seem to be built out of Medina sandstone uh, with this reddish, reddish hue. A couple of blocks, if you if you travel outside of the political district, um, then you reach the more commercial side of Albion. So there are a lot of fast food places to eat, and uh, you know, quick shopping can be done there. And there's also a laundromat. And, uh, for us, it's a good place to get diesel, uh, even though it's a little bit of a walk. So, um, a great place to stop, a lot of murals, a lot of history, um, um, just, you know, very, very beautiful town.